I have a salad recipe that you are just going to love. And actually, it's an old family recipe, um, and it brings back a lot of memories. This is something my grandmother used to always serve, and it's one of her favorites, so it's kind of special to my heart. It's called peas and peanuts, and it's just about that simple. But let me tell you, it's great for the ladies' luncheons. If you're having a buffet, you're doing a bunch of different salads, this one is always always a hit. Okay, so it starts out with a real simple dressing. We're actually going to do um, equal parts, so about a half cup of mayonnaise and a half cup of sour cream. A little bit of salt and pepper. And a, a dash or two of Worcestershire sauce. You know, I don't measure, it's just one more thing to wash. You know me. So I'm just going to mix that around. The salad is best if you can make it a few hours ahead so that all the flavors really get in there, even up to um, the day before. One bag of frozen thawed peas. You don't need to cook these peas, though. In fact, you don't want to cook these peas. Um, you want them nice and green. And if you cook them, they won't be as green. I've got two stalks of finely diced celery. This person added crunch. And then I've got two tablespoons of finely minced onion, just to give that hint of onion flavor. I'm going to toss that around in my mayonnaise and sour cream. And then it's peas and peanuts, so I think we better add the peanuts. I've got a half cup. If you really like peanuts, you could even do up to a full cup of peanuts. I'm going to save a few to put on top. And these are just your ordinary, um, you know, cocktail salted peanuts. Spanish peanuts are great in here too. And again, refrigerate this at least for a few hours until serving. Even better to do it the day ahead so that flavor really gets in there. I promise you, everyone is going to be asking for this recipe. A few little peanuts on top. And there you go. This is a fun one. My peas and peanuts recipe. Actually, my grandmother's.